What's up guys? So, as you know with the recent No Man's Sky Echoes update, we've managed to get our hands on two brand new types of multi-tool class. And these are the Atlantid multi-tool and the Voltaic Staff, the latter being the first two-handed multi-tool in the game. Now, for this video I'm going to be showing you the locations to a couple of the brand new Atlantid multi-tools, and yes, there are going to be S-Class ones with supercharged slots. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get stuck in. So, there are a couple of things you need to have to be able to find these brand new multi-tools and the first of them is you want to have quick access to a portal and you also want to have unlocked all 16 of the portal glyphs to use the portal to its full potential. If you don't yet have quick access to a portal or you haven't yet unlocked all 16 of the portal glyphs, don't worry because I've got you covered. I have created a video showing you the quickest way to find all 16 portal glyphs and I've also done a video showing how you can find portals quickly. So I'll leave the link to both of those videos in the description below for you. Just a heads up as well folks, all of these multi-tool locations will be in the Euclid Galaxy so make sure you're there when you're inputting any portal coordinates. Secondly, you are going to need to have completed the Artemis questline up until and including the mission called The Purge. You will also need to have started the new story questline which came as part of the Echoes update named They Who Returned. Though you don't actually need to have finished this one in order to get your hands on the brand new multi tool. So if like me, you haven't got that far yet, just start it and you should be good to go. And finally, to actually be able to get your hands on these multi tools once you've got to the location of them, you'll want to have a few thousand nanites and a few hundred units of Atlantidium stored up because you're going to need these to actually be able to get them. Atlantid multi-tools can only be found at alien monoliths in Korvac systems, so we need Atlantidium to flow through the glyphs and of course, nanites to actually buy the damn things. One thing I'm going to add here is that with these multi-tools, if you're not 100% happy with the actual appearance of them, but you would do like the stats and all that stuff, you can actually reload your save once you've arrived at the alien monolith and actually add the Atlantium to see the multi-tool in the first place. If you do this, it will change the appearance of the multi-tool while still retaining the stats, the class and the supercharged slots, so why not give that a go? For a couple of these multi-tools, I've done just that, so I'll be showing you two different appearances for the last two to see which ones you actually prefer. So, first up, I thought I'd include this white and gold Atlantid multi-tool because I think it looks damn cool. It is an S-Class, but it is an A-Class one, so you can easily upgrade it to S-Class if you so desired. And it also has a couple of adjoining supercharged slots to go with it. The reason I thought I'd include this is there aren't many white Atlantic multi tools going around, so you'll definitely be interested in getting your hands on this one. And it has a pretty modest damage and scanner stats starting out, so when it's fully upgraded, it's going to be one hell of a multi tool. So, the portal coordinates you need to get your hands on this white and gold multi tool are Face, Sunset, Diplo, Bug, Atlas, Atlas, Eclipse, Eclipse, Bug, Atlas, Diplo, and finally, another Eclipse. The planet itself is called Icut Gamma and the on-planet coordinates for the alien monolith are plus 13.21 and plus 34.97. So next up we do have an A-Class Atlantid multi-tool as promised and it comes with three adjoining supercharged slots as well. This one is black with some red trim and I actually picked this one up for myself when I came across it after I traded, it, traded in my similarly looking black and blue one, but that was only a B-Class multi-tool. Anyway, it does look slightly beefier than the previous white and gold one as well, so if you want to get your hands on it, the portal coordinates that you're going to need are Bird, Face, Sunset, Fish, Sunset, Diplo, Sunset, Face, Balloon, Sunset, Sunset, and finally, an Eclipse. And the on-planet coordinates for the alien monolith are plus 88.52 and minus 97.89. Right, moving on we have another S-Class Atlantid multi tool and this one is mainly black with blue trim and it comes ready made with three supercharged slots. Just a note on this one though, when you go through the portal coordinates and land on the planet, you are going to want to jump into your starship and head an hour into space and then go to another planet in the same system. Once you are into space you should see a comball and a save beacon there so you can see where the monolith is but the planet's name is Roxy J37 and the on-planet coordinates of the monolith are minus 2.32 and plus 123.62. I did actually do the reload method for this particular motor tool and I actually do think that the second iteration looks better than the first one. It's got the same stats, the same class and the same supercharged slots as I mentioned, but it's worth doing the reload for this one. The portal coordinates you're going to need for this one are Bird, 
Sunset, Dragonfly, Eclipse, Sunset, Diplo, Sunset, Face, Balloon, Sunset, Sunset, and finally, another Balloon. And lastly, but by no means least, we have yet another S-Class multi tool with three supercharged slots. Also a side note with this one, it is also located on a paradise planet, so don't say I don't treat you. And this one comes in white with a little bit of gold trim on it, and similar to the previous multi tool, I did also attempt the reload autosave method with this one and found the second appearance to once again be better than the first. The stats, the class and the supercharged slots all remain the same of course as well, so if you want to get your hands on the white and gold S-Class on landing multi-tool, the portal coordinates you're going to need this time are Face, Bird, Bird, Dragonfly, Sunset, Tent, Balloon, Sunset, Face, Eclipse, Bug, and finally, a Fish. And finally, the actual on-planet coordinates of the alien monolith on this paradise planet are plus 58 and minus 36. So, as always with these types of videos, I would like to give a shout out to the community over at Reddit at our NMS Coordinate Exchange. If you're a Reddit user like myself, you should definitely be checking out that subreddit because you can find a whole host of amazing No Man's Sky things like S-Class multi-tools, rare paradise planets, rare creatures, S-Class ships, and of course, amazing player created bases. And there you have it folks, there are the locations to a few amazing brand new Atlantid multi tools that you can get your hands on. I hope you enjoyed this video and managed to pick up a brand new awesome multi tool and if you're still here, it would be totally awesome if you could support my channel by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. You can now also become a channel member as well where I'll be posting coordinates to a whole bunch of super rare and unique items and places to visit. You'll also be getting some unique emojis and badges when leaving a comment as well, what's not to love right? And as always, thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.